up? It's Kinsey. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around. I'm 23, turning 24 on Sunday, August 1st. It might have already happened. I don't know when this video goes up. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a little chit chat, get ready with me, slash talking about my 23rd year and how your 20s are very confusing. I don't know why I'm almost like passionate about this topic. I think I just had this epiphany of like, oh, I actually know nothing and life is very uncertain and I am just uncertain about a lot of things. So anyways, we're gonna be talking about what I've learned in my 23rd year. I also have a podcast where I do episodes about what I've been learning um, and I have friends on, different people on and stuff. And those have always been a hit. I'm not doing one this year. Instead, I'm gonna be talking with you guys in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This top, by the way, is Skims. It is my favorite bodysuit ever. It's like the most flattering, most comfortable suit. It's so good. And if you spill drinks on it, it dries very quickly. So if you're someone like me, it's very good for you. And my cold brew, my glass straw. What I learned in my 23rd year is that I love glass straws. Um, Emily DiZonato told me to buy them. I did. All the credit goes to her, but like they really truly changed my life. I'll have those linked down below as well. I did write down some notes. Um, I'm not using too many new products, so I will like share what I'm using, but like it's not crazy different. Also, what is my hair? I have to clean my filter on my Dyson Airwrap, and so my hair has just like not been looking as like. I've also been back to doing my early morning heated workout. If you guys do that new workout every day, like what do you do about your hair? Because it's one of those workouts where like you sweat so bad, like do you actually just wash it every day? It's really bad for you, but like I don't see another option because like there, I don't have a choice. Oh, we're in my closet room. I'm sorry about uh, the door. It actually gets delivered today and then we're gonna film like a real closet reveal and show you guys stuff and it's gonna be exciting. I don't have a mirror. This is actually a new product that I've been using, the Rare Beauty Primer. And this is the Pore Diffusing Primer. I actually thought I was getting this in a setting spray and it was a primer, but you know, it's fine. We're gonna make do. Anyways, I was thinking about this the other day that my life on my 23rd birthday to my 24th birthday couldn't be more different. I mean, it's actually crazy how I spent my birthday last year and who I spent my birthday with and who I even was last year. I guess like the version of myself that I was last year versus this year, night and day difference. I will say, obviously it was during a pandemic and blah, 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 whatever. It's not really about like what I actually did on my birthday. It's just more about like where I'm at like mentally, emotionally, who I'm around, things like that. I will say I am a lot happier now, but 23, especially the first like four months of my 23rd year were so hard. Like it was some of my least favorite times ever, honestly. Within the span of like a month, pretty much every single thing that could go wrong in my life went wrong. Like there's so much that I never talked about online because it just wasn't my thing to share. Regarding like other people in my life, I went through a breakup, which was honestly a great thing, but obviously breakups are hard. I'm using the Rare Beauty foundation as well, by the way. I love this stuff. It's really good. Um, less is more as well, and I probably just put on too much. Also, for some reason, I put self-tanner on this morning, and now my face is kind of tingling from that primer. That doesn't normally happen, so I don't know what's going on. I'm using this as my mirror. Look, I'm really sorry, everyone. I'm not a professional. Anyways, between myself, my family, and like all of my closest people in my life to me, there were just really like catastrophic, really bad things happening. My sister got in a really bad car accident. I share that because she posted about it on her TikTok. And I don't know, there is just so much going on. And it was a very hard time. Um, and I remember I just kept thinking like six months from now, life will be completely different. Six months from now, life will be completely different. Like that will be a really good thing. I think Goku thinks she's a cat, like it's very odd. There she is. Okay. And I kept thinking six months from now, life will be completely different. Things will be better. And I was really focused on like healing and actually dealing with everything that was going on so that I could like get better and it wouldn't hold back later. I really like efficiency, you know? So um, I was really trying to like, you know, deal with it. I went back to therapy a few months before I even turned 23. That was a really, 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 really good thing for me. The first few months were really hard. Dom was here and we were really just honestly going through it together, which was like such a great thing because, you know, it was pandemic. I wasn't really leaving my house still, like blah, 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 whatever. It was hard. But then I remember come like February, honestly, when um, I'm honestly probably getting the dates mixed up, but that also happened to be around the six month mark that Dom and I were like, our lives are gonna get better in six months. I remember we were at dinner. There's just one night that was like so random, but ended up being like the best thing I ever did for myself. We were at dinner 
with my sister and my sister's like okay just like come see us for like one second we're gonna like meet up with friends and like one of my like childhood closest friends was there so I was like okay I'll stop by and like say hi to him and then we just ended up hanging out with people and basically I haven't stopped being with my friends since and that was the best thing I ever did for myself and like that was something I thought just like wasn't gonna be a big part of my life anymore and I am so unbelievably grateful that I like went back to that social life, those friends, things like that, because it was just literally the best thing I could have done for myself. Now we're gonna go on with the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. I love this, I got it because the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer stick thing is always sold out everywhere I go. If anyone knows where I can find it, please let me know. I'm someone who can be kind of hard-headed with like, oh, this is not what I think is gonna happen in my life, or this isn't how it's gonna happen, or like, I won't meet someone there, and blah, 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 whatever. I always kind of brush this up. This is a Sephora 64 brush I legit use for everything. That's probably not what you're supposed to do, but I love it. And I think that I really let go of how I thought my life was gonna go, and what I thought I needed, and what I thought was gonna make me happy, and what I thought was gonna fulfill me, and was a lot more open to other things. And I am now so much happier than I was then. And I think that's a really good lesson because I think I'm really open-minded just like actually as a human being but when it comes to like things that I want for my life I feel like I just had this like vision that I thought this is the only way this is the only thing that I wanted and like it just simply isn't you know what is such an interesting concept too why do we think we know what's gonna like make us happy in the sense of what's gonna make us happier because if you think about that it's something that you actually haven't had before so, so often you think like, oh, if I just make X amount of money or if I just am in a relationship or if I just am in this career path or get this job or promotion, I'll be happier. But it's so weird that we think that because how do we think we know that because we actually haven't been in that position yet? Isn't that weird? I don't know. So I think in my 23rd year, I really opened up my mind to letting life happen in a way that I didn't expect. And I'm very glad because it's only led me to better things, better friendships, granted most of my friendships are not necessarily newer. Some of them are, some of them are new people. But I think I've strengthened other friendships and I've also more so just been, I don't know, I just think that I'm in a better place than I was. A lot of that having to do with the people that I'm around. And that happened when I like made myself get out of my bubble and like actually invested and tried to like, you know, make friends and be social again. But also even deeper more than that, allowing life to go in a different way, in a different path that ended up being better for me. I think my most used word in my 23rd year especially was uncertainty and I had this weird, like I guess almost revelation by the way, I'm using the Tower 28 blush, I love it so much I broke it. I had this like weird revelation of, oh like maybe I don't know anything and I actually have no idea what I wanted. So before when I was like really had, like set on how my life was gonna go, I think I had this idea of like, oh yeah, this is how it's gonna work, this is what's gonna happen. And so when I realized like, oh, maybe that actually isn't what I wanted, I feel like I have this almost like identity freak out because I was like, wait, I don't know what my life's gonna be, like blah, 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 whatever. Um, and obviously like I know in the grand scheme of things and like with faith and blah, blah, that's not my identity is then, but I'm just saying like, I felt like I lost my footing because so much was changing around me, like so much changes past year anyways. So then I was like, oh my gosh, your 20s are so uncertain. And you know, conveniently enough, like I hate uncertainty. It's like why I hate dating. It's why I like, I just don't like uncertainty. I think most of us don't. Um, I'm using the Kosas brow um, gel. Honestly, I really prefer clear brow gel, I've realized, but this is what I purchased at the store. I like the actual gel. I wish I just got it in the clear gel. So there was a lot of uncertainty. I feel like there was a lot of things that I needed to unlearn, which is just like common in life and I also think you know sometimes it's even more important to know what you don't want to be than even like who you want to be um sometimes that's just like a little bit of a stronger emotion so it's a little bit more telling but there was a lot of things that I had to unlearn whether it was you know what I thought I wanted for my life or things that have been taught to me in certain organizations and you know whatever that might be I really went through a period where I was like almost like deconstructing to reconstruct which is like whatever and I feel like I actually have found my footing again I feel so much more I think I feel more myself than I've ever felt in my life I'm not as hard on myself I'm not like expecting this like perfection or whatever it is and I don't think I ever really was looking for perfection but I think I was just really hard on myself which is another topic like I feel like I'm really hard on myself but I am 
so easy on people. Like when other people are in my life and they do something that's kind of like, oh, I don't know, like I always am like, well, like from their perspective, maybe like this is why or whatever. To the point where like it's, I probably should be a little bit more critical of other people, but it's interesting because I would not describe myself as critical of other people at all but I can be very hard on myself. So it was a weird thing of like, I'm not this way when it comes to other people. It takes a lot for me to finally be like, okay, I'm like even gonna distance myself. So it was interesting that like, I could offer so much grace to other people, but I couldn't really do that with myself. And that's something that I'm really working on even currently. And I think even just putting myself on the internet and like, you know, documenting things like this or sharing thoughts or sharing ideas and sharing my life and whatever. I feel like I'm held to that almost because I put it on the internet and a lot of this is self-induced. It's not even people like saying things to me, but I feel like because so much of myself has been on the internet, at the same time, I do struggle with, you know, wanting to change my mind or change my opinions or, you know, be different or I'm growing. Honestly, it's not even changing necessarily as much as it is like I'm just growing into like the new version of myself. I can kind of almost try to hold myself back to what I said six months ago. And like six months ago, I had six months less life experience, especially in your 20s, you're changing and evolving so much. So I've just been trying to give myself like more grace as well. Oh, breakups. That was another thing in 23. They're good for you. I know they suck really, really bad. And I'm saying that as like, you know, I'm going to bed with peace on my pillow. I wake up with peace on my pillow. I'm not thinking about someone. Like I'm so not in that. Okay, hourglass bronzer, here we go. I mean, this is risky to do with no camera. I'm a little bit worried about myself today. Breakups suck and I honestly would like to avoid them at all costs, but I do think it's great. Also, another thing is like, I think I've completely changed what I even want in a partner in the past year. And not that I even really, really know what I want, but I definitely know what I don't want. There are qualities that I have realized in the past, probably like, six months even that are actually really good for me so if you're going through a breakup and you're like really sad right now just like picture yourself a year from now you will feel so much better you will care so much more honest or you'll not more less you will care less um and hopefully you're just in a better spot i have an entire i get breakup questions a lot i have an entire podcast episode um with a breakup coach is actually really helpful heartbreak is the worst thing ever it is like literally the worst feeling even when you want to break up it's really hard because it's like you know that's your day-to-day -day life this is the hourglass dim lip powder i've been using this probably since i was like 20 or 21 but you will come out of it so much better i actually just posted a podcast episode with jessa hastings who I literally love so much. And we talk a lot about your 20s because she's someone who's like advice I really value and I listen to everything she has to say. And it was really great. And we talk a lot about heartbreak in there as well. You will come out on the other side having grown so much from it if you really like, you know, kind of lean into the pain and go through it. No longer even wanting what you thought you wanted, most likely. It's also been a year. Oh, I have an hourglass brush. Blush, not brush. It's also been a year of me kind of like stripping myself of black and white thinking. Again, like I was saying before, when I was really hard on myself and critical, it's like black and white thinking, but I don't think life is black and white. I don't think about others in black and white. Everything's in the gray. So if I wasn't like really honestly overdoing it in a certain area of my life, I thought that wasn't like enough and I wasn't serious enough about it and whatever, but I would never think that of someone else. So that's been another thing I've really worked on in regards to, you know, just letting go. I think it's honestly really just been a lot of a year of stripping myself of a lot of things and like unlearning. This is, I like sound stupid as I'm talking, but like, don't worry about it guys. I'm just kind of on one today. Essentially, I'm ending this year in a much, much, much better place then I started it, even in regards to who I am. I, you know, I love myself then, but I love myself now. I'm really proud of who I've become. I'm really proud of, you know, what I've gotten through, what I've learned, what I've done. Like, I feel like I've really found my footing for coffee. And I've learned to shift my perspective on, you know, uncertainty in general. Instead of being really like scared of it, I think I'm onto mascara, better than sex mascara. Instead of being really afraid of it, I now, it kind of excites me. Like, I still don't love it, but I think my relationship with uncertainty in life has gotten a lot better. And also, I just think overall, like, what I've learned is it is okay to change your mind. It is okay to change what you want. And that's something that I've said forever. But I think this year specifically, when I've changed pretty much almost everything that I want in life, this year specifically has been the year of uncertainty and the year of changing my mind 
Um, and that can be a really, really scary thing to do, especially when like people are constantly telling you like what you need to want, what you need to do, what you need to act like, who you need to be. I think it's really important to sometimes just get silent with yourself and really kind of come into your own. And honestly, it wasn't this crazy big shift where I'm like this totally different person. Like I feel like I'm the most me that I've been and I've, you know, I've obviously always been me, but I just feel like I have my footing. I feel more confident in like my decisions, my decisions if those decisions don't necessarily line up with someone else's and what they would do for my life, I feel like I know myself better than anyone and I am really intentional with that. It's like, I feel like I know myself more than anyone and while I will make mistakes and I'm not always gonna make the right decisions, that's also okay and that's part of life. I feel like I keep repeating myself, but so many of my thoughts honestly just kind of like go together. I wrote this. In my notes, it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to reevaluate the relationship you have with things and change them. It's okay to unlearn things. You can take a step back. You don't have to know everything, which is hard. This is my favorite lip product. It is the Hourglass. I think it's a velvet story. Um, I believe that's the line of, I wanna say that's the line velvet story. It's in the shade Hint. I love, love, love this lip color. I also love the actual like application. I love everything about this, okay? Honestly, I'm like almost kind of getting emotional, but I'm not, don't worry. Um, but I kind of feel like this is almost like the happy ending to what was at times one of the hardest years and then ended up being one of the best years. I think the past six months have been so good with so many people that I love. I love being back in Texas. I love being home with people I've known forever. Like I just love it here and I love my life and I'm so grateful for literally everything in my life, like whether it's, you know, my career, or like you guys specifically, the people that I work with, the people that I've met on the internet, my friends, my family, like my personal life, even like day to day things that I get to do here, like I love just my routine. And I wish that Kinsey this time last year could see Kinsey this time this year, because one, I think she'd be really proud. And two, I think it would just be encouraging because that was just not a good time. So if you guys are watching this video and you are in a bad place, just do like the six month rule. Say six months from now, my life is gonna be totally different and so much better. Make progress and take the steps that you need to in the in-between and then update me on everything. I wanna hear from you guys. I hope this video was like encouraging. I know it's rambly. I know I have this like Valley Girl accent. I don't know where it came from. I grew up in Texas. I know I don't always like articulate things the best and a lot of what I said you know, was repetitive. I did just like want to take a second and just kind of catch up with you guys and talk about the last year because it has really been something. Oh, I should take these off, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for always being around for the journey. I have been vlogging and filming my life since I was 16 years old. One of my first videos on YouTube was my 16th birthday vlog, which is so crazy. And who would have thought that I would be one back in Dallas and two, honestly, Every single thing about my life would have surprised me, I think. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment below when your birthday is. I'm curious. My birthday's August 1st. I'm a Leo. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Do you have like any the aura ring or anything? I actually am getting it next week. That's so funny. Okay, you said that. I am considering ordering it. I was thinking about it today. I'm like, do I just buy it now? My mom is obsessed okay. with it and checks it every day. So I'm getting it next week. Funny you said that.